Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how I edit my photos using 500px new phone editing app called RAW. Um, it's really cool because it lets you capture photos in RAW and then edit them, create filter, create your own preset based on your editing and then you know apply those preset on other photos. Um, I think the shooting in RAW is really cool um, because it gives you a lot of flexibility um, in terms of editing. Um, but today I'm going to walk you guys through how I use the app to edit my photos. Um, when you open the app, it will automatically show the camera. Um, so here, I, here I'm actually in my library with two photos from a photo shoot that I did a few weeks ago. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the first one. Um, there are a few icons at the bottom. The first one is very straightforward. Um, it's cropping uh, photos and then you can pick a few different ratio but I'm not going to do anything right now. The second icon is for adjustments. So anything like exposure, contrast, sharpening, clarity, grain, and then tin. And then uh, this is my favorite, favorite part. Um, I actually will come back to that in a little bit. The third icon is for um, filters. Like if you, um, if you want to start off with a few filters that people already created. Ooh, I love this one. Good job, Adrian. Um, a few others that I already created up here. Um, you can do that. But I'm going to start everything from scratch right now. Okay, so the first one, exposure, contrast, highlights, and shadows. Usually, I would start with exposure. I feel like it's a tiny bit dark in this photo, so I'm going to go ahead and increase it a little bit. This is really cool because you just you can just drag and it's very detailed too. Like you can stop at whatever number. Um, I'm going to put it at 5, I think. Contrast is okay. I usually would go up a little bit. Um, okay, I'm going to do like 3 for now. We can always come back and make adjustment later on. Highlight, I'm probably going to drag it up a little bit. And then shadow is fine right now. Um, for the second icon... It's for temperature, tint, saturation, and fade. So for temperature, I feel like I should have this a little bit warmer. Okay, that looks good. And then I feel like this photo at the beginning, it's very magenta in a way. Oops, sorry. I totally just did something. Oh, okay. Temperature up again. I feel like the photo is very magenta when I start. So I want to drag this down a little bit. That's good. Okay. Um, usually I wouldn't do anything for saturation. For fade, um, if you drag it up, I think it's highlight faded. And then down would be shadow faded. Oh, I love this one. Okay, I'm probably going to leave it around 27. That's good enough. For the third icon, it's clarity. I usually don't do anything for clarity. Um, sharpening is something that I always do. I love my photo to look a little bit sharper. So I'm going to do 7-ish. And then um, it depends on your style and how you usually edit your photos. But for me, I love the film retro look. So I usually add a little bit of grain. Perfect. And vignetting can stay the same. This is my favorite part in RAW. That um, it lets you edit hue, saturation, and luminosity of each color. So say... I usually don't have any agenda for this. I just go in and play around and see how the photo reacts. Okay, I'm going to leave it 23. This is good. 
I usually would increase the luminosity for or orange or yellow because I love the skin to be a little bit brighter. But it's it very depends on the photos and the lining. And perfect. I'm actually gonna drag this up a little bit. Perfect. So for portrait, um, I pay attention mostly to the skin and how to get it right. In this picture, there are not a lot of green or um, blue, so I don't think anything will change there. Okay, probably just leave that alone. I'm going to go back to tint and uh, add a little bit of green in there. And then go back here. Kind of want a little bit more yellow. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay. I'm going to drag orange back up. Okay, maybe a little bit down for the um, for the yellow. Perfect. Mm. I don't know, like I will just leave these around. I don't think it changes anything in this photo in particular, but okay. I still feel like the skin is a little bit desaturated for some reason. Okay, um, if you touch the photo, it will show you the before and the after. So the before looks very magenta, very cool, but the after is very warm, very retro. Um, so I think I'm very satisfied with that. Cool. After you are done, you can hit the um, the very last icon with the cross button that would let you create a new filter. So I'm going to create a new filter for now. Perfect. And then hit OK. So usually you would be able to copy the style and then paste it onto another photo. I'm not sure why I can't do copy right now. But since I already created the filter, I'm just going to go ahead and open up the second photos. Um, like I said, go to this, the middle icon with the two circle. You'll see um, this is the filter that I just created. So this is the original. This is the filter apply. That is a huge difference and I think I really love it. Hit OK. Perfect, so that's how I use this app to edit my photos. So hopefully you guys will find this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know.